Hey everyone, Sirloin of Beef here, and we are back on Court Farm. And we are actually leaving right now to head up to the store uh, because I got a couple more uh, mods installed here just to be able to have some more information on the fields and, and things like that. I just got the um, field, more additional field info, uh, field calculator, and then I also got one to manage, um, or not manage, but to see the growth stages. So I'll show you that uh, all that when we get back. Um, but in doing so, I see that our grass field over there is in its second growth stage. So it is indeed ready to grow or ready to harvest. So since we have plenty of grass, which we don't need at all, and we got a couple of those silage bales, I'm actually headed up to the store right now to grab us a tether. So that way we can get it mowed, make some hay, and then we can finally, uh, in this episode here, get our cows once and for all. <laughs> I know we've been talking about it forever. I've really wanted to get them and, and move on with that. It just seems like things have kept uh, delaying us or artificial, you know, reasons of, you know, making up why we haven't gotten it because, oh, we need this or we need that. But the time has finally come. We just need a tether and we can get some cows so let's get up to the store here we're almost there and let's see i haven't bought it yet i was going to take a look at them to see what was available here uh, when we got here all right let's see what we have all right, anything on sale? No, uh, no, no uh, discount tethers. Got to pay full price. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tethers, here we go. All right, 16,000. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, some of these are pretty cheap. 18,000. Well, that one's not. So I do want to get a decent sized one. I don't, we don't, don't think we need anything that big. See that's seven point seven. That's eight point two. That's not bad actually. Uh, I don't want a trailered one. Oh, nine meters. That's even better. Uh, for sixteen five, I think, because that one's smaller. Yeah, I think this is going to be our best bet here. Let's go with the with the Vicon here. It's going to be nine meters, nine miles an hour, sixteen five. Seems good to me. All right. All right. Let's get this hooked up. I'm going to get back to the farm, and I'll show you the uh, the additional info that I was uh, mentioning there, and we'll uh, we'll get our grass started so we can get those cows. So I will be right back with you. See you soon. All right, everybody. And we are back here on the farm. Got our nice Vicon tether hooked up there. Uh, but this is what I was talking about here. So you see, it, this shows grow stage two of three growing. So then that should be good to go to harvest next month um, over there under field info. Uh, let's see, doesn't really show much of the additional information there. Let's go ahead and get over to our grass field. I'm just going to haul this over there because we're going to use the, uh, Lamborghini to mow and then we'll come right back behind with this one to Ted. So, go chickens. Right, let's go this way. Oop, there's a post there. That's hidden pretty well. Uh, let's see. All right. This over here. All right. Oh, look at that. What is that? Ah, another collectible. I'm, I tell you, every episode I seem to just run across one there. They seem to be scattered all over. Uh, but see here, this is so this is what I'm telling you about here with the uh, additional field info. I mean, the mod's been out forever. I'm sure everybody knows about it, but um, shows potential harvest quantity, potential yield, all that good stuff. But 
the one thing it doesn't show at the bottom there under growth is growth stage that is another mod that i went ahead and got on there so we can see that it's on three and three so we know that that this is ready to go this is ready to harvest so i'm gonna go ahead like i said we're gonna leave this one up here for now we'll just park it right there and let's go ahead and there we go there's a lamber lambagini let's get this hooked up to our mowers and let's get mowing very excited to finally get get cows i know we've talked about it in quite a few episodes already so very much looking forward to this i actually uh, you know even though i have been playing farm sim since uh Far, uh, farm sim 15 you know I, I never really have done a whole lot with with the animals i just i don't know i i mean i've done a little bit but i've just i've always just really gotten into the the arable part of it and just harvesting and you know and, and then with this one now in 22 productions and stuff like that I, but i never really delved too deep into the animals besides some of the maybe the more simple ones like chickens so uh again yeah i'm very excited to finally get underway here with the with the cows because that is going to be new for me as well and i am just hitting everything here probably should have gone the other way with the mower and all that on here but it's okay we're fine i'm just gonna squeeze yeah that's a tight fit all right A little bit of mud there at the entrance. All right, so let's go ahead and get this unfolded and let's get mowing. All right. Let's see, yeah, it doesn't look like it's too bad of a yield there. Of course, it, I know the yield said something like a hundred and something thousand, so uh, expected leaders. So I don't know if that's good for this field or not, but we're going to find out. One thing that we're definitely going to go ahead and do here um, after we get this taken care of probably in the uh, next episode is get this plowed up. So because I do know that it, the... Um, field info does show that this field needs to be plowed and i might have been mistaken but i thought in um previous uh, farm sims maybe it was that grass fields were kind of the exception to that like once you mowed it and, and did all that then it considered it plowed or something maybe, maybe i'm just crazy and i have no idea what i'm talking about but i, I just i don't remember grass fields um ever needing to be plowed but that's where we're at now. It's what we got to do. That's fine. We got a, we got our subsoiler. We can run that across the field, no problem. Take us a while because it's not that big, but we'll be fine. All right. Yeah, there's the mud. <laughs> All right, let's do one more headland here. All right. Do this one inside. Oh, you know, thinking about it, one we're going to have to go back to the store, uh, actually, and uh, we're going to have to grab ourselves a wind rower. I just rem realized that. Yep. Because after we get this mode and, and all that... Or did we... 
Yeah, we no, we don't have one already. Yeah, we'll have to grab one. I was trying to remember if we had already gotten because I know we bailed this field once already. Um, but that's fine. No biggie. We'll we'll run up and get one there. No problem. All right. Nothing. Nothing too big or crazy. Probably end up just leasing it until. Um, just for this one round so we can not spend too much money and get the cows because I am not putting this off anymore. We're getting we're getting these cows. I'm making that promise to you in this episode. We are getting those cows. Alright. Alright, well there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on a worker here real quick to uh, get this mode up. And I will be right back with y'all. See you soon. All right, everybody, we are back. I just uh, got the wind rower here, and we actually just went ahead and, and bought it because it's not that expensive, and we'll still have plenty of money for the cows because uh, we're not going to max out the, the barn there. Um, but as you can see, we got the field nice and, and mowed here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the tether. We parked the mower there for now. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's get it tedded up. So I think what uh what we're going to go ahead and do moving forward here after we get this plowed up i'm just going to go ahead and, and put grass back in it um just to hopefully and we'll see if that gives us a uh, better yield uh but what i think we're going to go ahead and do is we have the alfalfa field over there and there that there we go so, so we have the alfalfa field over there uh, that we made in front of that little campground area so we're going to use that for the alfalfa hay. So this will be the only time here uh, that we essentially, you know, hay this up here as as the grass hay um, for the for the cows, uh, because then moving forward, we'll just go ahead and do alfalfa hay. And obviously we only have those two silage bales. So hopefully those will last until um, the next time we need uh, to feed the cows or the next time we can mow this because then what I'm going to do is moving forward here we'll use this field as um, grass for silage and we'll use the alfalfa field for just harvest for, for the alfalfa hay uh, so we'll have a grass silage alfalfa hay kind of mix and then, of course, you know, we still have those big Heston straw bales. I'm sure those will last us quite a while as a filler for the for the TMR when we get into that. All right. Let's see here. Actually, what we might do here just to make sure because I am kind of uh, concerned about the limited amount of silage we have I'm gonna cut this across here and we'll leave this extra section over to to the left of us here we'll we'll make some silage bales out of that hopefully I mean because that should be I mean, it's a super small area, but I mean, that should probably be maybe three or four bales, at least. Alright, well, we got that tetted up there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this uh, field up here, and we'll be back when this is done. See you soon. Hey everyone, we are back getting the last row in here. About to get this field completely finished and then we're going to 
windrow it all up so we can get our bales. Alright, so let's finish this last little bit up here. Alright, let's see. Right, and we are finished with that. All right, so let's get that folded back up. Oh, looks like the worker missed a spot here earlier. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it's okay, this looks like a little tiny spot here, no big deal. There we go. Okay, now we're done. Because <laughs> like I said, yeah, we're gonna leave this part up here for the um, to see if we can get a couple uh, silage bales out of out of it, just to kind of complement the the two that we have. All right, I'm gonna get this and put this away. And our shed is getting a little full over there, so I don't know where we want to keep our haying equipment here because we are getting a lot of a lot of different pieces here oh i know i think we can fit them in right here i remember this spot right here yeah it looks pretty good oh and i just <laughs> glitched out a bag okay that's fine i'll have to move that with the telehandler in a minute Dude. Yep, fits just fine. Okay, cool. All right, so we got plenty of room in here. We can go ahead and just set these in. All right. through here like a world rally driver all right All right, now to tet it up. Let's get it done. Nothing to it but to do it. curious to see what kind of yield we're gonna get from this here I think we're gonna be all set on hay but that's why I was saying I wanted to cut off that little part at the top there and leave it for the silage because that's the only part that I'm concerned about since we only have those two silage bales which honestly we shouldn't even have those at all but since we lost the two from the contract I wanted to kind of bring them back in um, and I figured that was kind of a good starting point for us as well uh, to actually get into the cows because I know there's some other stuff we're still going to have to we're still going to have to get here we're going to need to look at getting a 
uh, TMR mixer. Um, that's probably going to be the next big ticket item. And then we're also going to have to look into getting a uh, bail wrapper, which I think I've decided on which one I'm going to get. Um, I'm, since we got the the Gawil, or Gawel, however it's pronounced, uh, Bela there, thinking about grabbing the um, front detacher that uh, hooks up to like your three-point or telehandler or whatever uh, that just wraps it like that, not one of like the actual trailers. So I'm thinking about grabbing one of those instead. Uh, and we can wrap our bales that way. But let me, in the meantime, let me go ahead and get this field uh, swathed up here. And I uh, will be right back with you. See you soon. All right, everybody, and here we are. We are back in the field here. We got it all rowed up, and let's see. I just want to see what we have um, as far as this. So we want to turn on automatic drop. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. And this only makes one size, so no size changing to worry about there. All right, let's go ahead and get this grass done first here. Let's get lined up. I want to see how many grass bales we get here first. All right. I think if we can get five is what I'm hoping for. I think if we can get five, we'll be really good. There's th I definitely think we're going to get five. It looks looks pretty good because that's three already and we still have two rows to go here. I think we're I think we're going to be good on the uh, being able to re replenish the silage bells there. Without getting into our our hay, all right. Oh. So that's at one, two, three. Uh, there's four. Yeah, so five, no problem. There's number five. All right. Can we get a six? That would just be the icing on the cake right there to get this to get six. Nah, it doesn't look like we're going to get six. That's okay. I was open for five. We got five. That's good enough for me. All right. Starting on this now. 
All right, so we got the grass part uh, bailed up there. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, is this gonna count as a grass bale? Even with the the hay in there, that might give us six. Let's see here. to get to the rows. I know it made kind of a mess here at the end trying to pick that up first. Ninety nine percent. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oops. Uh, and of course it's gonna drop it right there. I just wanted to see if this came out as grass. Uh, yeah, grass. All right. Well, that's going to roll to who knows where. Uh, but we did get six because it looks like uh, it had enough grass in it to consider it a grass bale. So let me go ahead, get the rest of this baled up here, and uh, we'll be back again. See you soon. All right. And we are back. We got everything bailed up. You see, we got some of the bales there now in our shed there we unloaded all the rest of them um but we got our we got our bales here and the uh the moment has arrived we are set to go i got a uh a um feeding wagon mixer whatever you want to call it here um i got that on lease so we just leased this one here uh so we can get them fed and then um once we're more financially uh in a better spot we'll we'll purchase one down the line but i just wanted to get it in here so we could feed him but obviously if we look at them you know 45 50 you know some of the model ones um you know they're pretty expensive so we if, if we, even if we could afford one like we could get this one we wouldn't have anything left over for the to buy cows so we just left it that way um and just rented it or leased it rather and here we go, the moment of truth. So I'm gonna start off with, let's see how many, I'm thinking 30. Yeah, still leaves us about $10,000. All right, so we're gonna start off with 30 cows. Ooh, yep, there they are, look at that. And I am betting they are hungry already. So let's go ahead here, unload all these. Oh, maybe not all of them here. Actually, we'll probably put these back on. Just grab the ones off the back. All right, so let me go ahead. We'll get this started here. Let's get the lights on. All right. There goes the camera again, looking at the back. All right. Let's get our cows fed, and then that's going to be... That's going to be an episode right there. All right here. See, there's our other hay bales. We got them stacked up over there. We left the grass bales in the field because uh, they're just going to hang out there until we get a wrapper probably in the next episode, I'm hoping. Uh, let's see. The camera's awful here. I'm trying to see if we can grab both of them. There we go. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. 10,000 liters of silage. All right. They're bouncing around on there. They do not like that. Looks like it's trying to push itself off. Alright. Ooh. Oop, wrong way. Zoom out a little bit. Well. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. <laughs> we eventually got him in there. 
All right, and then these round bales uh, that I set here, these should be much easier because I know I can grab two of these like this. Uh, if I actually, if I can fit, looks like I put them in kind of a tight spot here. Actually, yeah, you know what? We're gonna. What is it stuck on? There's nothing here to be stuck on. That's strange. It seemed like it be it was stuck on something, but there was nothing there. All right, let me go ahead and pull this forward here a little bit. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, let's get this here. Come on. There we go. Right, that's looking good and then now I believe we should be able to go ahead and grab one of our straw bales here and finish that off with a little bit of filler let's grab that And then we can also use this for bedding as well, because I know it's not going to take this whole thing. Come on, there we go. Okay. Come on, there we go. Perfect, there we go, it's full. All right, and then we'll throw this in here for the bedding. It is gonna take it, isn't it? I'm probably gonna have to put it over there. Guys, take it there. Well, doesn't look like it's taking it there either. I wonder if it's going to require us to have like a straw blower to do this. Either way, we'll go ahead and we'll just leave this here. Driving through all the cows. Park this right here. There we go. And let's get them fed. Let's 
see right and there we go back here go back and close this gate all right looks like it is now empty cows are fed and it's getting about time to uh take a rest here and move on to the next month but we're going to go ahead and uh we're going to call it here i'm going to get this uh feed mixer returned back to the to the dealership because like i said we just had it as a lease so we could get them fed and uh we'll see you in the next episode thank you very much for stopping by if you enjoyed this kind of content and would like to see more please like and subscribe i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and take care bye bye